Hey YouTubers, it's Ryan back from another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today I have with me a bottle from Southern Tier. This is Pumpkin. Uh, I feel like I'm probably the last person on YouTube to probably try this beer or even review it. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately though, I think this might be a bottle that got damaged in shipping and might have lost some if not all of the carbonation in it, but um, I'm going to give it a shot and see, see how it goes here. So actually I did get a hiss on there, so that is a good sign. I just didn't want, I had to open this today because I was fearing that um, it would go bad if I didn't drink this right when I got it. But um, so far so good, that's a really good sign to see here. Uh, two finger just slightly off-white, a little yellow in the, in the head, lots of small bubbles. Uh, very clear beer, very much an orange color. Um, I know it's not the season for pumpkin beers, but I'm really looking forward to try this. Still is the holidays after all. Let's get the nose on it. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, now I know what everyone's talking about. That's amazing nose on there. You get a little bit of hops up front, but then you get a ton of just really fresh smelling malt like the they must use they must take some of their 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 malted barley and toast it because you just get that big toasty character on there they kind of sim I guess they're simulating the crust with that and then you do get the spices the nutmeg a little cinnamon but right now I'm getting a like a kind of a floral hop character but mostly man that that those malts just seem so fresh and bready, toasty um, is what I'm getting on the nose. I know this beer came out a while ago, so some of that hop character might have faded. I'm trying to get some of the pumpkin in there. Yeah, there's some pumpkin buried buried in there as well. So um, I'm really anxious to try this, and I am happy that I have carbonation coming up. Um, there is some coming up from the bottom of the glass, so that's good to see. Cheers. Oh wow, that's, that is quite different than the pumpkin beers I've tried. It's a little more bitter than I actually expected it to be, but I heard, have heard that this is uh, a somewhat hoppy beer, and it has to be, because I believe uh, it's pretty high, yeah, it's 9% ABV, and they're using uh, Magnum for the kettle hops. Magnum is a really clean, bittering hop. And on Roman, they're using Sterling. I'm not very familiar with Sterling, so I'm not sure what. It, it seems to have maybe like a floral, kind of earthy character to it. This beer is so smooth for 9%. And um, yeah, it's definitely leaving some nice lacing already. Just real smooth up front, and you get some of that bitterness. Um, you get kind of the spices mixed in with the hop character. And then midway through, that really bready, crust-like character comes into play. And then it finishes with like a mix between pumpkin, like a creamy pumpkin uh, flavor. I don't know if they use lactose in this or not. They use puree pumpkin, two-row, caramel malt. So I'm wondering if they're taking that two-row and maybe toasting part of that, or maybe the caramel malt gets slightly toasted. I don't know, but yeah, it's... I can see what the hype is about this beer. This is, uh, right away, I'm gonna give this one an A. This is an excellent beer. Uh, Southern Tier, they're out of uh, New York. Uh, I guess they're just below Buffalo. So that's western part of New York State. I wish they would ship their Imperial Series out here to California. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been too excited as far as reading up and seeing reviews on their regular beers, but this Imperial series, from what I've tasted, this is my third beer I've tasted from the Imperial series, and they've all been really nice. Uh, this one is just is excellent. That's why I'm giving it an A. Yeah, this certainly is as close as you will get to liquid pumpkin pie. Uh, great beer from Southern Tier. Please send out your Imperial series in California. We would very much like them. Until next time, please comment and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.